Well, this makes me smile. We've had to put our outdoor adventures on hold, obviously, because of the pandemic rising numbers, but we're back just as the weather is starting to turn a little warmer and we didn't have to go far for this week's Texas Outdoors. You'd never know it by looking, but we're still in the heart of San Antonio. They had cattle in here up through the 90s. This used to be a working dairy farm when Max and Minnie Volker married in 1925. They spent the rest of their lives here. The city bought the property in 2007 after Mayor Phil Hardberger made a visit one day and asked a caretaker to show him around. He said, can you show me a, a great tree? And he brought him here and he was looking and he said, oh yeah. This place is special. We've got we've got to save this place. A self-admitted tree hugger, Hardberger set his mind on including it in a 2007 bond program for park projects. Almost 14 years later, with the opening of the $23 million Tobin Land Bridge, the park is complete. Only 25% of the parkland will be developed or programmed for for use, and the rest of it remains in a natural state. Denise Gross is the executive director of the park and says she has the best job in town. It's pretty special. Yeah, you pull up and there might be um, some deer out. Uh, yesterday morning there was a red-shouldered hawk on the fence over there. There's not much to argue with. Roughly a thousand people a day visit the park. Even on a day with temperatures in the 40s and rainy, there were people on the almost eight miles of trails in the park exercising, walking their dogs, <laughs> or just taking time to sit and chat. And there's lots of just quiet spots to just kind of sit and enjoy nature. And um, we've seen how important that's been to people this year too. The original 1830 stone house has been restored as well as the old milking barn. And a caretaker still lives in the 1930s bungalow Max built many. Oh wow, it does. It's like a bird or something, right? Yeah, a hummingbird. There are wildlife observation blinds, basketball courts, dog parks, playgrounds for kids, even educational centers, as well as a host of other things to do here. But as far as future construction, the park is done. Phil Harberger says uh, we will not build anything else in this park because it is it is the nature that is here that is what is so very special and you really can't improve on nature. All right, I have to admit I had never been to that part of Hardberger Park before and now that the land bridge is all but finished it's easy to ride or walk the entire park. You ride through the trails most of them on your bicycle and now that we've fired back up, I want to hear from you. Where are some of the places you've been going to and doing things outdoors while we've all been quarantined? Email me, bdavis at kins5.com or hit me up on the Kins5 Facebook page or Twitter and go on an adventure with me into the great Texas outdoors. I got to 